everyone, Jerry here. Welcome to today's 10 minute technique. Really simple, really fun. I have been making this, it is cloth yarn. I've been making it for years, 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 decades actually. And you can make so many different things with it. You can crochet with it, you can knit with it, you can weave with it. You can make baskets, rugs, hats, purses, and so much more. You can also make cloth twine with it. Ready-made, practically ready-made cloth twine. You can use it uh, to close a journal. You can use it to couch on it in your slow stitching. And did I say weave? I think I did. You can weave with it. I love it. This particular ball I crocheted loosely with a big needle and then I pulled it out. I ripped it out and it makes it all crunchy and I love it. I love doing that. So I'm just gonna set this aside and show you how I do this. So I take some cloth, especially if you have, if you've purchased cloth in the past that you really aren't crazy about the pattern, you could do, you could do this with it, it's great. Because once you crochet it or knit it or whatever you're doing, it just kind of, you can't even see it, uh, the pattern anymore. So I'm going to rip my strips and you can play with the width of the strips to see what kind of um, cloth yarn you like best. I generally rip mine three quarters of an inch to an inch. And then I fold it over and I put a little nip in the end. I do have a nipper that I like to use because of course, you know, I do everything very methodically and assembly line. So. When I'm going to do this, I rip a lot of cloth. I do it outside because it does get a little dusty. I rip a lot of cloth and then I put these little notches in both ends and then I am ready to sit down and watch TV and make some cloth yarn. So the rest of this has already has their holes in it and there are some strings involved. So when after I rip, I generally will just take my hand and go down like this and just grab the strings off, the really loose ones. And then I'm usually good to go after that. So I have one strip, and don't put your um, uh, cut too close to the edge because it will rip. So this strip is faced up the right side and this one is faced down the right side. So I'm going to push that through there and then I'm going to take my hand and go all the way to the end and now I'm going to stick that through there and now pull it tight. So I, I do it gently so it doesn't rip. and it connects it. And because of how I held it when I put them together, I have right side, right side. Now, if you just do it willy nilly, you might wind up with this, which is okay. But if you want it to be all going in one direction, then that's what you do. And I try when I'm ripping my cloth, I try to get the biggest bang for my buck. So I try to rip the longest pieces because whatever project I'm making, I usually just like that. Okay, so see what I did? Do it, I just did it again. And you see before you pull it down, you see what it looks like? And then you can just very gently, so you don't rip but you wanna make sure you get it down there enough. It just gets to a point where it just kind of fits, it just goes into place. And that's it. And then I'll just, you know, wrap it up like that and it's ready to go. And there you have it. And I hope you enjoyed this quick 10 minute technique and I will be back to show you what we're gonna do with some of this in the next video. Keep moving, just play, no rules. 
and remember to find something to be grateful for today. Of course, you know what I'm going to say. I'm always grateful for you. And I'm grateful for these projects that keep my hands moving. Bye for now.